Well, I started taking photos when I was really little. My dad always had cameras lying around. He would let me play with them, would skip school all day to hang out in the dark room, come out like in a chemical-induced haze. Two weeks a month, I would drive all over the city from downtown to Richmond Hill and back, taking pictures of chefs and teachers and principals and city councilors who were doing various things just for these tiny little shots all over the magazine. And that was my job for a year after I graduated from fashion school. So, you know, on and on it went, you know, it, it grew into, into this and I'm grateful. I mean, the role of photographer differs, I think, from job to job. You know, some days I get to set and, and my clients say, this is exactly what we want. We want you to execute it in your style, but the idea is here for you. And some days I have all the freedom in the world. When I'm on a shoot, I want my subjects to feel really comfortable with me as fast as possible. There's no real trick to it um, besides just being a human and expressing your humanity to these other humans. Artists and actors that I know are really shy when it comes to having their picture taken because there's something really final and intimate about actually capturing a moment as opposed to letting it roll by in motion. I've shot a lot of solo artists and I've also shot a lot of bands and I think that one of the things that stands out about shooting bands is that they have each other to play off of. It, actually in both cases today, like Port Cities, they're, they're obviously all close, they you know they know each other pretty intimately when you tour together and perform together. Um, so the communication is, is really great. I mean, aquaculture, those guys just rile themselves up. They rile each other up, it gets worse, it amplifies, pants come off again, bellies are out, it's nipples, it's all of it. But it's great because it really comes across in the photo and I think that one of the things that's hardest for solo artists is that if they're not totally comfortable in front of the lens, they don't have anyone else to play off of except for the photographer, which is why that relationship is so important. Um, in this case, with the groups, it's also important for me to have this comfort with them so that they know that I'm just one of them and they can feel comfortable with me and we can just get it. My shoot philosophy is that everyone should be having fun and feeling relaxed. One of the things I like to do is to create a really wicked playlist that everybody can appreciate. It's, you know, it's a lot of like 90s, it's a lot of 90s music with some like little gems thrown in here and there. And I always have that shoot playlist running through the duration of the setup and the teardown. I go by feel and hope for the best. Obviously when I have a great team, they can help me make sure everything is technically much more sound. But what I'm there to focus on is making sure that the image looks how I want it to in terms of feel and framing and that kind of thing, which I don't think you can necessarily be taught. You could learn about cameras, but I didn't, just my choice. There's nothing wrong with it either way, I think. I'm just obsessive about balance and you know, if I'm working on cropping an image, I will go back and recrop it to the millimeter until it feels exactly right. I'm the person in everybody's house who's like fixing your picture frame so that they're perfectly level. And I'm pretty good at nailing it without a level. So there must be something going on in my brain that allows me to do that. I can't do other stuff, but I can do that. It feels right. Being yourself is, is the key to making good art. No matter what side of the lens you're on, no matter what crew member you are, just having that, that self-awareness. And it's not something that everybody comes by easily. Sometimes you really have to work at it. But I think it's worth, it's worth the work to say like, well, this is just me. This is how I am. I'm not gonna be any different. You know, sometimes pictures are a little blurry and there's a little movement. And I've learned to accept that and I, I like it because there are no wrong answers when it comes to this stuff.